Now this model kit review is of the F-14 and it's called the Danger Zone, it's by Edward and uh, it is 148 scale and it has five different decal versions depending on which one you want to build uh, it's a pretty big box and it shows you here some of the features uh, it really is going to be phenomenal because uh, it's going to have lots and lots of extra detail so let's have a look inside and let's see what we have so Edward is known for their exceptional details and high quality kits Okay, so the first thing we should look at here is our um, photo etching. So here you can see uh, these are parts for um, engine here and um, looks like parts for the cockpit as well. Uh, here are some other parts for the cockpit and um, look at this, just absolutely incredible detail here uh, for all the control panels and so on. So that is phenomenal. And let's have a look inside this box here. To figure out how to open it. There we go. So here are all the resin parts. And uh, resin's a little fragile but you can get a lot of detail when you make things out of resin so let's have a look here so there you go incredible detail here are our engines and as you can see in there just absolutely incredible detail that comes out there like that just amazing here are um, exhausts one thing with uh, working with resin though is you, when you cut these things off um, you should not be breathing that stuff in and some body parts here. Here are our wheels and that's the inside detail of the wheel which is just amazing. Here is the uh, actual tire and you, I don't know if you can see that detail there but it's got uh, Goodyear and that's just, that's just amazing. Here is our um, ejection seat and look at that detail that is awesome and this is the seat here so that is absolutely amazing and it's got the two seats there That's just incredible. So a great level of detail here for our cockpit that we're expecting. And uh, great engine details there. Now we'll start to look at some of our sprues. This is a very big package.
And it looks like everything is individually wrapped. So, try and separate these out so we can see what's going on here. More individual wrapped screws. So, over here we have our main body. So let's have a look at that. This is the top of the fuselage. And as I expect for Edward, this is absolutely incredible molding quality. No flashing mold lines at all. Recessed panel and rivet lines, which all appear to be perfect. Um, even the little vents here. Incredible and exceptional detail. Let's have a look over here. I see uh, it's probably going to be part of our cockpit here. So there is our cockpit there. Uh, it does have some molded in detail there which you might have to file off for um, some of the photo etch detail. Here are our uh, wheel well covers with some inside detail, that's quite nice. There's some detail there for our... Uh, this is for our pilot here and for the navigator. And then uh, these are our um, exhausts which we won't be using because we'll have the uh, photo etched, sorry, the, the uh, resin parts. Uh, there's our nose. And uh, these must be our air intakes. And I guess they must be fragile, otherwise they wouldn't be wrapped like this, so uh, let's have a look. Yeah, these are our air intakes with those little points. And uh, looks like they've been cut off the sprue there and individually wrapped. But uh, you can see here all of the little detail there. And we have another one for the other side. And here are some wheels, or we're not going to end up needing those. And then some parts for the uh, cockpit. Here we have tires, and these are made out of fairly stiff vinyl. But we won't need those because we've got the uh, resin ones. Here we have some weapons. We've got two of the same one here. These are beautifully molded. And here's another one. The side one the missile looks like. Again, perfectly molded. And another one of those. Over here we have our ejection seat. Now these are these are the styrene ones, not the resin ones. And there's obviously not as much detail. It's still fairly well molded with a nice level of detail. Here's our uh, injection handle there, the seat. But we're going to use the other ones. Okay, the next set of packages here. Okay, here we have uh, some of the uh, missiles, and these are the classic uh, F-14 missiles here. These ones sat underneath, right underneath. Um, 
the uh, the body, the fuselage, and these are beautifully molded. We've got two of those. Okay, next we're going to look at the uh, underside of the fuselage. And look at the exceptional quality here. All the detail, it's just absolutely phenomenal. Recessed panel and rivet lines. That looks a little interesting there. It's got some dirt on there. But that is just absolutely amazing. Over here we have uh, two of our engine details here, one for each side, and uh, even for styrene, um, absolutely phenomenal. Look at the detail here on the inside. Here's the uh, engine fan blades, absolutely amazing. Great level of detail there. But we'll end up using the uh, other ones, which are the resin, because those details are even more incredible. Here we have two of these. These are our uh, fuel tanks, and also a set of pylons. But look at that detail, it's just absolutely amazing. So two of those, <clears throat> then here we have our uh, glass, and uh, we have lots of little glass pieces, and they're all very nicely molded, and uh, under here, should be our canopy and windshield. That's probably the windshield there. If we can get this to slide off, doesn't look like it wants to. This is going to be the uh, canopy here, it's larger. There, look at that. You've got the uh, rivet lines here on the glass. And there's our windshield. That looks absolutely amazing. Okay, these next sprues here, we've got some wing parts. And again, just phenomenal detail. We've got recessed panel and rivet lines. This is going to be a swing wing, and it looks like it's actually going to be able to swing, which is awesome. And then we've got uh, this is the underside here. Also, again, absolutely incredible level of detail. We've got our uh, leading edge here, and then our uh, flaps and ailerons over there. That's the underside. Here we have uh, looks like our radar parts for the uh, front of the uh, cockpit here, and uh, it's going to be our shield or um, cover for our instrument panel, the back part of our uh, of our uh, cockpit cover. Uh, let's see here. There's a little gun. Good parts for the inside, looks like of our cockpit, we've got our uh, refueling probe. Uh, it also looks like that's part of the uh, cockpit there. There's a little bulkhead, probably uh, for the front of the nose. Uh, lots of extra little pieces here for our, um, uh, for the fuselage. Little pitot tubes here, uh, looks like our wheel well covers, and uh, 
there's our hook and we've got a little ladder so that is phenomenal let's see what's behind here let's see what we've got I guess I don't want that to break off and I'm uh, not really sure what that particular piece is for Then, over here we've got our uh, gear, looks like, there's the other one, and then we've got some wheel well covers there, actually no, there's not covers, these are the inside of the wheel wells, and as you can see there's a lot of detail here, that looks just absolutely phenomenal, more parts here for the wheel well uh, the sides, there are the wheels, and uh, here's our gear, this is the main gear each side and uh, that really is just absolutely incredible over here we have it looks like some more of our uh, tail and elevator So, recess panel rivet lines, this is the uh, tail here, and elevator here, just absolutely phenomenal, molding quality is perfect, it really is amazing. Okay, we've got some more body parts here, and this is the where the uh, weapons are going to sit. And these are the wheel well covers there and there with some nice details on the inside. Okay, we're down to the last uh, two sprues here. And uh, this one here has some more pylons, really a lot of weapons here. And then uh, the mounting pods here for our weapons. Uh, we've got another. This uh, might be, is this a gun pod? I don't really know. But uh, everything is just absolutely incredible. The quality of the molding, the detail level. Uh, this is just uh, classic Edward. One of the best uh, model making companies, I think, in the world. Here is the left side of our fuselage, the nose portion here and uh, this has all been cut out so which means you can add some detail there if they haven't already given it to you we'll look at the instructions of it exceptional level of detail here here's the other side all just incredible here are some of our air ducts so that is amazing Okay, let's have a look at our decals. Let's see here, these are the masks. Uh, you can see they can just barely make out the uh, masks there. Those are really mostly useful for the, uh, for the canopy. Okay, let's have a look at our decals here. looks like we have uh, at least two decal sheets here so here's the first one and these are all beautifully beautifully printed so this looks like this is for one particular version but then these are the common ones and incredible number and quality and here are the uh, different versions for uh, the different options, different uh, people. And that's for the Roosevelt. Uh, this is for the JFK. This is probably for the Vincent. Yeah, Vincent. And then the USS Constellation. Absolutely incredible. 
Okay, so quite a thick booklet here of uh, instructions and uh, some details here. Here is the parts listing. It also shows the parts we're not going to be using, such as the wheels and tires, some of the uh, pylons there. Some of the engine details, but they give it to you anyway, which I appreciate because you can use in another model. And uh, ejection seats and so on. Those are all the resin parts, the photo etch detail, the masks, and then over there, those are the colors needed. So that is awesome. Okay, look at all that detail. So I probably should show you the uh, symbols here. Uh, for what they mean and now it shows you there to remove the detail there to add the photo etch detail there's the photo etch parts there for our uh, instrument panel and as you can see here just tons and tons of detail really is absolutely amazing so there's the cockpit that's finished. Then we've got our, um, this is for the radar assembly. So you go in the front of the plane. These are the, it shows you here, these are the, not the regular styrene. Uh, these are going to be the uh, resin parts for our landing gear. That's the nose wheel. And we're starting to build the uh, front of our uh, nose here, nose gear goes into the wheel well and then uh, the whole front goes together now on the other side here we've got our gun wow look at that, that's awesome so we've got our gun and uh, that all goes into the side there so you can see all that and then there's the front side of our, uh, or the underside of our nose section there. And uh, you could probably glue this open so you could see that. I mean, that's beautiful work. Then we're building our wings with the uh, uh, details there for our leading edge. There's the other wing. And uh, here are our air intakes going onto the fuselage. And then <clears throat> our uh, ejection seats here. We make sure you use the uh, resin parts because really they are absolutely incredible. The level of detail is just phenomenal. Here's our uh, main gear, and uh, again we're using our resin parts there for the wheels. This is the way to do, a, uh, even if you don't have resin, if you're doing styrene as a manufacturer, I wish they would do this. This is just phenomenal, where all the individual pieces you can get detail on the wheel well. Then we've got our engine parts going in. That's all mounted inside the fuselage and um, all these extra pieces going onto the uh, main body here including our air brake and so on. And then our wings are put on and uh, our fuselage is mounted together. Here we have our tail and then the engine exhausts. And those are all put on there, mounted onto the back as well as our elevators. And now we're going to be building, <coughs> excuse me, we're going to be building our canopy and uh, lots and lots of detail there. And that's all mounted onto the front of the fuselage. Our ejection seats are put on, nose is put on. And uh, that's all then mounted onto the fuselage. 
with our uh, don't forget to put on the uh, ladder here are our wheel well covers that's for the uh, nose gear that's for the main gear there is our uh, hook for landing above the or on the carrier and uh, some of the pylons so now he's trying to get into the weapons so depending on which uh, weapons you're going with, you'll pick the different pylons. So here are the weapons. So we start off with fuel tanks, the AM9 Sidewinder, the AM7, AM54, and uh, those are the different mounting options there. And that is for tarps. Don't know what that is. I'll have to look that up. Okay, and then our mask, including our wheels, and here we get to the uh, decal and painting guide, and uh, here's some details about this particular plane, and the decal and paint guide, and as you can see, again, as expected, tremendous amount of detail, those are the colors needed there. And then uh, here's the next option. Tremendous amount of detail. I really am so impressed with this, even without the photo etch and the resin parts. The starine alone is absolutely phenomenal. Absolutely incredible. And then uh, the final option. So here are all the common ones, and uh, you can see inside for the ejection seat there. So I cannot recommend this model enough. Obviously it's expensive. Uh, it has a lot of detail. This is not an easy kit. Um, but the product is going to be incredible.